Hi everybody, I want to welcome the new handful of subscribers on BitChute. And if you are watching this on YouTube, please go down into the description box and click on the link to take you to the BitChute channel and subscribe there also. Thank you very much, because this channel on YouTube probably won't be around for much longer. So let's get into this video, please. 20, the top 25 responses to the question, are you ready for your COVID-9-11 vaccination? Number 25. I'll roll up my sleeve just as soon as you tell me why I have to stand next to a 5G tower afterwards. Number 24. Vaccination? Sure, but can I choose how many years of getting shaved off my life, or is it going to be a surprise? 23. Could you first please confirm that this is the same vaccine in response to the pandemic rollout by the Rockefeller Foundation in their document called Scenarios for the Future of Technology and International Development in the lockstep scenario on page 18, which lays out authoritarian rule with limited innovation for the subversion of the U.S. Constitution and violation of basic human rights to destroy the middle class? and to accelerate a mass surveillance security state paving the way for the implementation of mandated vaccines, vaccine certificates, and around-the-clock spying on men and women sojourning in these United States of America, all under the guise of a medical pandemic-based racketeering plan the Rockefeller Foundation penned in 2010? Number 22. I'm more than happy to take the coronavirus vaccine, Doc, because it'll eradicate coronavirus just like the flu vaccine eradicated the flu, right? 21. Can you first take the formaldehyde, mercury, and aluminum out of the vaccine? Number 20. Is this the vaccine batch with or without autism? 19. Before you inject me with that, doctor, is this vaccine recommended by the CDC who covered up 27 studies that proved that unvaccinated children were healthier than vaccinated children? 18. Sure, but how will you give me the shot and still comply with social distancing requirements? 17. Well, I could take the injection, but wouldn't it be quicker if an unmarked van pulled up instead and mass men grabbed me, shot me in the head, and dumped me in a vat of acid? 16. Hi, this is Mr. Smith's crazy conspiracy theorist friend. Mr. Smith can't come in for his vaccination because he died of starvation standing in line at mile two of the food bank because the government ended his employment and subsequently his life, liberty, and happiness and his means of self-support to keep him safe from a flu-like virus that all of Sweden has built up a natural immunity to, but he left a note saying to go ahead and mark his death down as COVID-9-11 since he thinks he maybe might have kind of got it because he was outside for two minutes last month to check the mail only to discover that he had a small pinhole in his left hand glove middle finger. Number 15. Is this the vaccine for the COVID-9-11 virus pushed by the World Health Organization Director Tedros Ahanan Gabrisius, who is not a medical doctor and who covered up three outbreaks of cholera in Ethiopia? 14. Okay, shoot me up. And can I have one of those dusty ventilators as a souvenir? 13. Well, I guess I'll take the vaccination. I mean, if you are actually giving them to people, then I must have misunderstood Bill Gates when he said on that TED Talk that the way to reduce the population was with vaccines, right? 12. Sure thing. I'll take the shot because it's mandated. It just makes me wonder, though, if the government is mandating vaccination because they care so much about our health, then why don't they mandate healthy eating, taking vitamins, and exercising? 11. Wait, what? You want to inject me with a concoction of unknown chemicals pushed by the same people who did 9-11? 10. Um, before you vaccinate me for coronavirus, can you please explain why the United States holds the coronavirus patent number US-1001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-
10130701B2 patented in November of 2018. And why another patent owned by the CDC calls coronavirus an invention? Nine. Is this a vaccine for the pandemic that CEO Donald Trump said on camera was artificially induced? Eight. Can I first see a copy of the electron micrograph of the pure and fully characterized virus? Thanks. Seven. Certainly can inject me. I mean, you are wearing a lab coat after all. Six. Of course, of course. But what is the name of the primary specialist peer-reviewed paper in which the virus is illustrated and its full genetic information described? Five. This isn't like when Bill Gates said on camera that they are taking genetically modified organisms and are, and I quote, just shooting them into little kids' arms, right? Four. Sure, but first, is this the same vaccine recommended by Dr. Fauci who perjured himself in 2019 before the U.S. Congress House Committee on Energy and Commerce and who gave over $3 million to scientists at the Wuhan Institute of Virology and other institutions for work on bat coronaviruses research which involves manipulating viruses in the lab to explore their potential for infecting humans which creates a risk of starting a pandemic from accidental release? Three. Oh, yes, please vaccinate me. Added to my unvaccinated coronavirus survival rate of 99.99%, will that get me to 100%? Two. What is the name of the primary publication that provides proof that a particular virus is the sole cause of a particular disease? And the number one response to anyone suggesting you get the COVID-9-11 vaccine. Is this the vaccination recommended by the unelected, documented thief Bill Gates, who is not an engineer or an epidemiologist or a virologist or a medical doctor, but who did drop out of college, has been to the pedophile Jeffrey Epstein's island numerous times, and who owns several virus patents and virus companies and who injured thousands with vaccines, killed children in Africa with vaccine trials, owns 500,000 shares of Monsanto, sponsors a satanic artist, advocates for microchipping humanity, and now wants to get into the chemtrail industry to block out the sun? Huh, Bill? All right, now let's get serious. We have two more questions for doctors pushing vaccines you don't want. Hey, Doc, does the coronavirus vaccine have MRC5 in it? They all have MRC5 in them. MRC5 is aborted fetal cells. WI38, MRC5, and IMR90 are cell strains for isolation of viruses from clinical specimens. They are aborted fetal tissue. Most doctors have also been brainwashed. So when they recommend the COVID-911 vaccine or any provably harmful vaccine, they believe that your knowledge of a vaccine's potential for great harm is a conspiracy theory, which is a term concocted by the CIA in the 1960s. This is a 3rd century BC papyrus fragment of the Hippocratic Oath. The Hippocratic Oath is an oath of ethics historically taken by physicians. It is one of the most widely known of Greek medical texts in its original form, it requires a new physician to swear by a number of healing gods to uphold specific ethical standards. This is the actual text of the Hippocratic Oath, and I will read the highlighted sections. I will carry out, according to my ability and judgment, this oath and this indenture. I will use treatment to help the sick according to my ability and judgment, but never with a view to injury and wrongdoing. Neither will I administer a poison to anybody when asked to do so, nor will I suggest such a course. Into whatsoever houses I enter, I will enter to help the sick, and I will abstain from all intentional wrongdoing and harm, especially from abusing the bodies of man or woman, bond or free. So our final question for needle-happy doctors pushing kickbacks, I mean vaccinations, is, 
Hey doc, I appreciate you suggesting I get the coronavirus vaccination, but is there a possibility of a latogenic reaction from the vaccine? A latogenic reaction from a vaccine is an adverse reaction caused by multiple compounds or drugs interacting with each other, and this is always a danger. The doctor should answer truthfully and say yes, and when he does, you are exempt because he has sworn the Hippocratic Oath to do no harm, and he has to honor his oath. I took an oath not to harm you, so I can't and won't take part in an agenda to force vaccinations on anyone. And, of course, you can always just say no. Please share and mirror this video, and if you're watching this on my heavily censored YouTube channel slated for extermination, please subscribe to my BitChute channel again as a reminder. The link is in the description. And so is a link to our business that gets you secured, corrects the fantasy that you don't own yourself, severs those invisible adhesion contracts with the corporation masquerading as government, and revokes your election to fund terrorism. I mean, file taxes. Look within for the solution, because you are the solution. Stop looking outside yourself for some magical being to come along and get rid of the deep state, because it's not happening and it's not going to happen. Thanks all. Have a wonderful day.